M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Yesu FT710 have new firmware issued on the 1st of November 2023. The changes are number one, compatible with SCU LAN 10. Two, fix the issue when changing the MCH from a hand microphone would not save correctly. Three, change the pop up display when receiving a cat command. Four, fix the issue where TSQL was enabled even in other than FM mode. Five other functional improvements and optimizations have been made. So there you go, the link will be in the description and following this will be my older video where I added the firmware step by step and a link to the instructions. The instructions are, are very good if you ask me, very clear and precise, just follow them correctly and you can't go wrong and um, watch my video. M0FXB, let's get the firmware into our Yesu FT710 and the date is March 2023. We've got ourselves an SD card which has been formatted. So we're going to put it into the device here. It goes in that way around. Push it in and if it's the first time you'll get a message saying set up. We'll just click yes. Then we're going to go to format now. Of course, you, you need to have made a backup because if you don't make a backup at the end of this whole process, you're going to lose all your set, all your settings. So make sure you've done a backup and then I'm going to format it. You, to back it up, you will just go memory list load. OK, but first of all, I'm going to back up. I'm going to format mine completely anyway. So go done format and it's going to format. Remember, at this point, you are going to lose everything. So if you haven't got a backup then uh, you'll lose your memories. Not that I, I, I don't really tend to store memories on a on my HF radios, just on my VHF and UHF radios. So let that complete. So it's ready to put into our PC to transfer the files. Let's, uh, how do we escape that? Okay, like that, push the function. Then we'll go look at the, quickly look at the firmware version we've got. Software version is the next one down. And we're looking at, there you are, the main is eight, then you've got six, zero, three. I think they've actually changed quite a few of them. So let's uh, turn it off. We'll go back, turn it off, and then we'll take out the SD card and let's uh, go to the PC. So here's the actual firmware changes. Look, AES settings, improved DNR, change menu CW, fix the bug for the mic EQ, fix the bug. Some reflected when calling QMB. Fix the bug that the band stack was not memorized. Fix the problem of the icon. Improvements to permit shifting the repeater shift frequency. Fix the bug for the cat. Fix the bug for EX command. Fix problem with response for not performing normally in cat. And other improvements. The PC, we put the SD card adapter into the PC and we can download the firmware here. 710 we've there's even instructions there as well you can update add them as well so there's this well let that unzip a minute and here's your instructions just briefly and you are it says here what you're updating it looks like we are updating the main the display the dsp and the sdr so it's everything and then here's all the description of, of what's actually being done but the one i'm interested in really is the dnr but there's a few there have a read I've shown it in a previous video. So once we've uh, done that, we've got the file for the firmware here and I've already sent it to a file that I created on my PC so I can find so I can find it and I just put it on my desktop and I called the file Yesu FTM firmware. Which look oh, there it is there. Look, this is what you're going to have on your file. You can see You've got all your different things, SDR, main, IF, DSP, it's all here. And I've put that in a file on my PC. Let's go to my SD card. Push the file, see the little yellow file here? SD card. Click it, double click. And what we want to do is put in, put these files into this item. So let's find my file that I created, which was... Yesu on my desktop and find it. Where's it gone? Yesu firmware, there it is there. And we can just literally select all like that, right click, copy, 
and then go back to this file that's my FT710 paste. There you are. They're in there now. Now we still need to put them in the right place, otherwise it won't work. Now I just checked and it looks like leaving them there is fine. So let's take it out and put it in our PC. So right click and then just go eject. Take the SD card out, go to your go to your FT710. Pop it in this way around. Like so. Now apparently at the end of this you're meant to do a factory reset as well. So let's turn it on. We'll go to the uh, firmware update window. So we go function, extension, and we go down to. Sorry, I'm just making sure that it's clear. SD card, and then we're going to tap firmware update. And it should check the SD card. And if you've got it right, it will start ticking boxes. So I'm just going to tick them all and see what it says. Do not turn off the power. So now it's going to do one at a time. This is the first time I've done a firmware update on the 710 where it does everything. Yeah, I think previously it was nearly always either the main or the display. So we'll as it goes down the list, we'll unpause. Slowly but surely. Gone down to display, tick. It's a lovely radio. I highly recommend this radio. If someone says, well, what about the 7300? I highly recommend that as well. But this, and the firmware on that is very straightforward. So if I could have them both in one box, I would, but my shack's a bit small. Um, so I just decided, I had the 7300 for years, and I thought, oh, let's just stick with this for, for a while, and I'm enjoying it. Moved on to the SDR section now. And at the end of this, we will factory reset. Right, we'll get into that last part. Let that complete and then do the factory reset. I'm, I'm really hoping that the DNR is better and I have done a before video, which I'll add, I'll tag on the end of this video. Right, when we're done, it turns itself off. I'm guessing we have to turn it on. So we'll turn it on, but then we'll go on and off and do the factory reset. I'm just going to turn it on. We'll do the factory reset, and then we'll do some tests with the antenna. We'll take the SD card out, and then we'll, it's off. We'll hold down the DISP and the other button next to it, which is fast, find fast, hold them down, and turn on. Like so, do a reset. Then we'll go menu, extension, go down to software version and make sure we've got all the correct numbers, which is the 9714, that looks right, let's go back, now let's get an antenna on it, back out, go up to... Let's have a listen. I feel like so, the dB level, I find that I normally have to change that to make any sense of the scope. Right, the thing we were really looking for is the DNR, isn't it? DNR on, let's hold it down. Same again if you do, you know, 
even a couple of mechanical problems, if it's like the lighting or maybe the heating or something sort of quite minor, minor you can get it repaired. Yeah, it's definitely, I I think it's better, because before, when you got to number four, it was watery. We're going to charge you £300 for a light, or £600 for this, £700 for that, and tell me I'm going to be paying it, especially when you look at the import duty and a lot of this stuff. No, not really. Same with radio, you know, you look at your radio, if they're running. Let's turn it off. So hear the hiss. We send the rig back for repairs. I'm mean, charging you, I don't know, three or four pounds a year with components, but then four hundred pounds for the labour charge of doing it. I think that's good. I was going to say before with um, this before we were met by today, after we were married, we were going to have a I think that's better myself. Now, any other, let's look at anything obvious on the other changes. A lot of it's CW and CAT. I'm not really seeing anything major to check, really. It's nothing to do with the mouse. To me, the big one was the, the DNR, and I give it the thumbs up. Thanks for watching my channel. Please like and subscribe. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're going to do the firmware upgrade, but it's now March 2023, but I thought I'd quickly show the DNR before and after. Okay, so here is the before. So let's turn it on. Hold it down. Now it's off. Right, let's do the firmware upgrade. Got our SD card ready and um, see what it sounds like after.